Uh, let's move on to the nation now. And this is something we were talking about yesterday as well. Actually, we've been discussing this for the better part of the week. Um, ESCC now drawing up a list of county chiefs who might not qualify for clearance to take part in elections because of corruption charges. And I, I hope this works. I fear it will not work. We have just been talking about the politicization of accountability. Mm -hmm. If you look at these governors, they are across the board mm -hmm. in, the political, in the political divide. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen is they're going to come in, they're going to defend their own, and it's going to become impossible to give uh, guidelines or to hold these people accountable in terms of running for office. But remember, earlier this week, we said if there were ethical and accountability measures that determine who runs for political office and who doesn't run for political office. 99% of the politicians would, would not qualify. run. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, of course, like <coughs> we said, again, looking at uh, the Auditor General Edward Ouko mm -hmm. and his case, yeah. whether it should be a case that is politicized just yeah. like this. Now, I'm sure the first yeah. thing that many politicians would want to make us believe yeah. is to check which side of the divide ha. are these governors. Uh -huh. But you see, the truth of the matter is, yes. it's either they're guilty or not guilty. Yes. And that's what really should carry the day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we'll wait and see whether that actually happens. Mm. Uh,